1993 onwards, 19, uh, sorry, 1993 onwards. And now it is having 24 committees according to the various departments. Government of India is having around 108 departments. Every department or three, three or four departments were handled by a minister. We call it as departments. This committee is looking after different ministers holding departments. Personnel, public events and pension is the department under the control of the uh, Prime Minister of India as a direct cabinet minister. Below him, he is assisted by a minister of state alone. There is no other a cabinet minister. This Ministry of Personnel, Public Revenue and Pension is looked after by different secretaries. The departments are looking after the recruitment of the IAS, IFS, IPS and other allied service uh, personnel. Therefore, UPSC is under this department, even though it is a constitutional body. <coughs> It has to report to the Nodal Ministry on their performance. And the Central Bureau of Investigation, Central Vigilance Commission, these are all under these uh, departments, other than the, all the department personnel throughout India and in foreign uh, where there is, they are working at there in the Ambassador or High Commission Office. And also we are looking after the Department of Law and Justice. This is handled by a separate cabinet minister. It is having uh, three departments, Department of Legislature, Department of Law, and it has got the Department of Justice. <coughs> you know very well that customs, excise and service taxes is having an apparent tribunal. Therefore, we called uh, that uh, tribunal members. Similar the chairman of that uh, Tribunal, the member of the regional benches of the company law board, they are the chairman and member uh, appeared before us, and then recovery appellate tribunal, national industrial tribunal, and state administrative tribunal, central administrative tribunal. Some deficiency under the social corporate uh, 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 responsibility. You give them some special training for them, equip them, because they have suffered for many centuries. We have to bring them into the mainstream. That is the purpose of the reservation. Yes. Uh, apart from the reservation category, most of the units are mm -hmm. lost. No, the camera. Uh, yes, no, the camera. Yes, no, I must start. They are here to start. Do you, do you take care of those? That, that also we have to take care of, but the system is uh, since uh, that is looked after by a concerned department, for example, coal department, department of coal, it is having a separate parliamentary standing. They will look after overall uh, need need of the department. But our mandate is to see how the constitutional guarantee for the reservation is looked after. Not. Therefore, we should not clash in that. And when this when this uh, when this deadline is given, six months time. No, no, when? We, from from, from, from uh, that is actually we started the tour from November first. Okay. We told them as uh, within six months because we are taken carefully that these three months they can fill up many of the posts because this financial year is going to end in March. Then the next financial year will start. <laughs> that will end in uh, that will be in the middle first part of the quarter. That will be in June. Then we will call them again in June July. How many you have filled up? Why you have not filled? Up? Judiciary, higher judiciary, most courts are affected. That's why um, cases are pending, people are suffering. We have just taken up this issue when we were uh, meeting in the uh, Delhi. We called the uh, Department of Justice and we informed them that uh, you have to prepare all the grounds because the National Judicial uh, uh, appointment commission, uh, commission is already initiated. Yes. That has to get the ratification from different states. Fifty percent of the states have to ratify it. That is going on in the 
different parts of the India for ratification. Immediately on getting the ratification, the President of India will give the consent and the notification will come. Then only the Commission can start working on it. Therefore, they have to prepare all the groundwork on being constituted. There are more than 350 uh, high court judges vacancies are there. Yes. They have to go at this stage to find out all the 350 vacancies to be filled up. That can happen only when this commission has come into existence.